Why was it worth it to you to take a job where you know that you would have to hide a part of yourself and that if you had come out that you knew that you would be fired? When you ask why is it worth it, there's a lot of consequences. I think that's the thing we have to be very clear about. In the very beginning of our service, we know there's risk to begin with. I signed up for the military for a lot of reasons, as there are a lot of particularly uh, poor people, people of the lower uh, socioeconomic class, uh, who are oppressed in many different ways, uh, who join the military uh, for many of the benefits, and there's many reasons. For me, particularly, uh, because I had scholarships to go to other colleges, it was a very big, uh, important decision as to what I believe in that uh, caused me to choose West Point. Uh, service is very important to me, and I learned from the very beginning uh, of my development at home my dad was in the Korean Army, and he always impressed on all of us that we have to serve something greater than ourselves. Now, I always knew that there were many ways to serve. You could be a teacher, you could be an activist, you could be a businessman, you can be a politician, you can do many different things and serve. And I chose the military in a lot of ways because, in my thinking at the time, that was the most obvious way to serve put your life on the line for what you believed was correct. And to me, the Constitution and what it means to truly be an American and the fight for freedom and justice, those things were absolutely correct. Those things were absolutely worthwhile. So why is it worth it? Is it worth it? Absolutely. Of course it's worth it. And that's the reason why any of us join. Uh, now, I knew that I was getting since fourth grade, I knew that I was gay going in, and I knew that it was possible that I might be in this situation today. Christian never expect that it's going to be exactly like this. Mm -hmm. I never, number one, I didn't know who Rachel Maddow was. She, she was a, a superstar at that point, you know, and I didn't know uh, that it was all going to unfold the way that it did. Um, but honestly, when your question, uh, Posed, I immediately thought, you know, consequences, that's what you're asking about. It's deeper than that, though. It goes back to the reasons why, the smaller reasons why you join. Because the, the big reason is service. But there are other things, like, you know, as an Asian American, I also wanted to disprove a lot of the stereotypes of Asian American men. They are weak or effeminate, or they don't stand up, they don't speak out, they never go against the grain, they never make waves, they're always nice and kind and they're good at math and they don't know how to fell apart. But for me, I did have a big chip on my shoulder because I felt that I didn't want to be stereotyped in, in that way or in any way. Um, and of course, I knew I was gay, so I wanted to hide that too. I equated a lot of the masculinity and gender role uh, and uh, gender binary that is, is really uh, fixed into our thinking from the very beginning of our development. Uh, and I applied that to my being gay. And I put them two together. I said, one is equal to the other. You know? um, and so being gay, I felt that I, I needed to compensate. And, um, of course, like I said, being an Asian uh, boy, I felt that, you know, from all the stereotypes that I was also battling with that identity, uh, it was perfect. Now I should, I should go to the army. And nobody will ever expect me to be gay. Nobody will ever ask that. Um, a lot of people go and join careers that are very punishing, very damaging, and very oppressive to... Um, sexual orientations that are not the heteronormative and gender expressions and identities that are not uh, fitting within the binary because they're hiding from that and they equate that uh, and they, they have that sense of inadequacy. And they feel that going in, and I did, I feel that going in to um, organizations like that somehow can make me feel like I am compensating adequately, but I know that that's not the case. Uh, 
gender identity is very different from sexual orientation. They are not one and the same, although the oppressions are the same. And in a lot of ways, it comes from this uh, calcified idea of what gender norms and roles should be uh, that, that causes it. I, I realize that. I'm learning that. That's another thing I learned from the activists that I work with. Um, I really believe that I could hide them. And I thought Don't Ask, Don't Tell was awesome because I didn't ever have to come out to my parents. <laughs>